이렇게 햇빛 잘 드는 곳에 놓고 물은 너무 많이 주면 안 돼. 안녕. Today we're going to learn how you can express that you're worried about something. And the grammar form we'll be using today is for intermediate level learners. So make sure you're ready before starting. Okay, so let's get started. Here's the form that we'll be using. Take a verb stem and attach e if it ends in a consonant, or just attach a l i r if it ends in a vowel. Then attach ga, followed by pa. This pa actually just comes from the verb poda, meaning to see or to look. And this means that you might also see other ways that this grammar form can be conjugated. For example, you might see pa yo or pa ne yo, and others depending on how it's used. And once you learn this regular form first, you'll also be able to use those in your own sentences. This verb stem can be either in the present tense or in the past tense. So if we take the verb hada, it can either become halka pa or h e s e r k a ba, depending on what you want to say. So then, what is this form used for? Well, it's used whenever you want to explain that the reason you did something was because you were worried. For example, you might use this form to say something like this: "I don't even want to use my new cell phone because I'm worried it'll get scratched." So you can think of this form as meaning "because," but only when the reason is something that you were worried about. Next, let's talk about how you can use this form. It's used in the middle of a sentence, so the reason will come first, followed by this form, and then what you did. Typically, since this form is used to explain that you're worried, this form will often be followed by verbs such as k o k j o n g h a d a meaning to worry, and others. Or you can also just use this form at the end of a sentence by itself. In this way, it basically means it's because I was worried about whatever comes in front of it. Note that if you're going to use this at the end of a sentence, make sure to attach a yo to the end to be polite. So this can become pa yo or something similar. All right, now let's look at some example sentences. 음식이 맛이 없을까봐 걱정했어요. I was worried the food wouldn't taste good. Literally, if it helps, you can also think of this sentence as meaning. I worried because I was worried the food won't taste good, but it doesn't sound repetitive in Korean like it would in English. 시험에 떨어질까봐 열심히 공부했어요. I studied hard because I was worried I'd fail the test. 마크가 매운 음식을 못 먹을까봐 햄버거를 사줬어요. I bought Mark a hamburger because I was worried he wouldn't be able to eat spicy food. 새로 산 핸드폰에 기스가 날까봐 쓰고 싶지도 않아요. I don't even want to use my new cell phone because I'm worried it'll get scratched. And that's all for today. You can also learn more about this topic in the extended PDF version of this lesson, which is available to download for free on my website. Thanks for watching, and remember that I upload new videos here every week. So if you like what you see, click subscribe. 그럼 다음에 또 봐. Wow, 진짜 크다. Oh, 키케 금손이구나. Huh? <sighs> 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 역시.